Hello, this is Cheryl McCoy, and I'm coming to you from Moodle MOOC 14. I'll be speaking with you about how to show other people parts of the profile section. You can use them to add to your profile, to begin your profile, to edit your profile, wherever you are in the process. Here are the instructions for the video tutorial that you will submit in week one section 2 video tutorial tools and activities there are a whole series of activities in this second part of the week one procedures and it is called my profile submit video tutorial to submit the video tutorial you're going to first explore all the features available under portfolio top right via screencast-o-matic which is what i'm using right now to orient yourself as to where you'll find your profile top right is over here when you click on your name or hover over your name all this information will become available and that's what we're going to be talking about before you start looking at the profile or videotaping anything or making any notes to explore all the features which we have just discussed. Number one, you will publish the video on YouTube or Vimeo. You will share the link, an activated link. This is really critical. Don't just put the link in your forum and then think that that's cool because people have to go to a lot of extra work to find out where your video is at always activate the video link. I will show you how to do that. Number three, you must respond to at least one other person. Once you do that, then you are qualified to receive your uh, check mark for this activity. Remember, when you receive all the check marks, then you will receive a badge indicating that you have been assessed in this area and that you have completed it. You want to see the image of the features and go through each one. Once you do that, then we'll talk about which ones do what and why you would need to use them. Now you're moving your cursor to the top right of this page. As you can see, I have a picture there. That's my picture. And I have my first name there, Cheryl. There will be a place for you to put your first and last name. So first off, I'd like to explain to you that anytime you see someone's picture in any other section of this Moodle MOOC, if you click on it, it will take you to that person's profile. Be really careful because if you are working on something and you're trying to respond to somebody and you click on their picture, you won't be responding to them. You'll be going back to their profile. Take that cautiously and figure it out and you'll be fine. So you have your name. And you have your preferences, a place where you can go to the parts of your profile that you'll most likely be wanting to work on first. Things like your username to go to edit your profile. And there's a whole range of activities to go right there. We will talk about them. To change your password, which may be needed. But one thing you need to remember is you can always use your Google or other login to get into this class. If you want to leave a message, you can do that. Also, you should consider very seriously adding or at least linking your blog. Many times when I write something for a Moodle or we write something, our instructors encourage us to write it on our blog so we have that information out there, but then you link your blog to the Moodle so the information is available here also. Then you want to know where your badges are. This area under preferences, these are the things that you'll normally be using uh, when you come to your profile. We have private files, things that we want to have information about that will help us while we're in the class so we do not have to go back and try to find information. There's also a place where you can see all your forum posts, and this is very helpful because sometimes um, you may want to know what it was that you said to somebody else or something that you wrote, and this is one way of doing that. Discussions. So after you've gone to your preferences, you can select each one of these separately. Messages, private files, forum posts, discussions, and you can also look at my grades, course grades, 
your badges. You can actually log out here and then you can any place you see a question mark in a circle, that's always a place to go if you're not sure of what's happening. And it will give you all the little tidbits of information that will be helpful. We're going to go to Preferences, click on User. When you click on User, these are User Preferences. Here's your User Account, Repositories, Portfolios. These will be things that you'll want to look at later. But for right now, let's look at the User Account where you can edit your profile, tell us your preferred language, forum preferences, editor preferences, course preferences, calendar preferences, security keys, message preferences, notification preferences, and linked logins. So let's go to edit profile. You will see what you can put in there, like your first name, your surname, which is your last name, your email address, and email only other course members to see my email address. <clears throat> Select your country and then your time zone. That's really critical because when you're invited to uh, the weekly webinars in our Moodle MOOC, you need to know this um, because it will automatically send you an invitation that will be um, linked directly to your time zone, which is really critical. If you're in Australia, your time zone is much different than the, the basic time zone that's used here is Toronto. Now, in my description, I have chosen to make a collage. This is where I have taken images of places where I live or in places where fam my family lives or where I went to college, the place where I live, my grandma's. And then uh, the motto that I like to use I live in the uh, Central Plains area of the United States, and you know what that's all about. It's all about wind, weather, rain, dry, whatever it is, it's always powerful, which can be kind of scary. Below that, there's a place for the user picture. Gravatar has been enabled for this site. If you haven't been to Gravatar, it would be advisable to go there and create a profile for yourself. It's very, very helpful. Many websites use Gravatar. You don't have to go find a picture every time, which means you can actually do some of this profile joining and profile making from your phone or some other thing where you don't have to deal with special bits of files and information. You can add your own current picture. You just need to make sure it's the right size and it will tell you. You can actually add a file and when I found the picture that I wanted, I clicked on it and I said, yes, I want that. It says, here are the accepted file types. It's best to use JPEG or Ping. Now there's a place for additional names, my interests. So let's go back to our user account, preferences, editor preferences, form preferences. Let's go to form preferences. This is helpful. I like email digest type. And I see complete daily email with full posts, not particularly subjects. Daily email with subjects only. I like that. Forum. Yes, when I post, subscribe me to that forum discussion. I like that. I need to know when somebody responds to my post because you and I must respond to those people. At least acknowledge that they have shared some information with you and you might find that they are helpful and then you can follow a conversation. Yes, highlight new posts for me. When sending forum post notifications, mark the post as read. You can do that or you can do not mark the post as read. Here's my profile page. Here is my image that I wanted to share about myself. Course profiles about Moodle for teachers, Poodle from, on Moodle, privacy and summaries, miscellaneous blog entries, notes, my certificates, forum posts, forum discussions, learning plans, reports. Now here are my badges. And there are a variety of badges listed here. So these are the things that I have earned since I have been on this particular Moodle. Hopefully you'll try these out. There are a variety of ways to get into your portfolio, but the main one is click on that picture of yours. When you click on it, you'll get to all this information right here. Enjoy it, add as much as you can. You definitely need to put your name, your email address, your forum post preferences if you want to keep track of them, a picture, 
always do a picture. Try your best to add a little bit each day that you come in. You'll be surprised. It'll quickly come together. Thank you.